Uh, hey everyone, uh, going to show you today a little bit about uh, how to use uh, Polycord as a MIDI controller with audio bus, of course, and uh, I'm going to control uh, Korg's iPoly 6. I'm going to add Drum Jam in there, and uh, I'm going to use Beatmaker as my output in audio bus, and uh, also I'm going to control some instruments inside of Beatmaker with Polycord all at the same time. Uh, Polychord doesn't give you a whole lot of control over where your MIDI's going. It actually sends MIDI out on all ports, much like Cantor does, and uh, it sends the MIDI out everywhere. So um, you you really have to uh, block it from any programs that you don't want to, uh, you don't want the MIDI to be sent to. So I'll go through that quickly. I'm not going to go too much into playing and most of the controls because uh, you can check that out in other videos. This is merely how to set up virtual MIDI. Um, so one main thing that we're going to get into here and uh, you'll probably need to either uh, pause the video right now and write this down or you can take a screenshot of it because um, you're going to need to know this information and uh, I'll just go throughout the video assuming that you know this and uh, you have it all written down. So these are the, these are just the channels that the different uh, the different parts of uh, of a polychord will send out to. So let's get started. Anyhow, to open my audio bus. Now the first thing I'm going to mention, as you notice, I have the the buffer size open here. Uh, I always have used uh, two fifty six frames for everything, but for this we're going to have to use five twelve because uh, with the Korg Poly 6 um, and everything sending to all the channels on that, it's going to take quite a bit of CPU, so we're going to try to cut down on it as best as we can with this. So I'm going to open my uh, Polycord here. I have to make this kind of quick because it's a lot of information, but... And I'll open Drum Jam, as I mentioned. I'm going to use that for the drum line that sends from Polychord. <clears throat> and I'm going to open the Korg iPoly 6, which I'm going to be actually using uh, both main synths and uh, the ARP are all going to come from Poly 6. Now I'll control the bass, the bass line that comes from this, uh, comes from Polychord rather, uh, with Beatmaker 2 here. So I'm just going to start off loading Beatmaker 2 <clears throat> and I'll uh, go in through and uh, set up the MIDI really quickly and get everything going. Let me pop back there and I'll load up a new project. I'm just going to go in the MIDI settings and I'll turn everything off and polycord on turn the omni off on the top that's important and we'll add a new instrument I'm just gonna add a bass in here one that I've made but uh, you can use really any of uh, Beatmaker 2's uh, internal keyboard samplers sounds Whoops. MIDI key here. I'm going to set that to channel 3 for the bass. That should be all we need for that. So uh, we'll pop down to our MIDI here. I'll turn off the turn off everything actually, the internal sounds of, uh, of the app here. And I'm going to turn on send bass send the bass there. You can hear it's really really loud so I'm gonna pop over there and turn that down quite a bit. Alright, sounds good. Turn that off for a second and we'll pop over to uh, Drum Jam. And I'll go into the setup. It, it'll already be set up from the last time I did this, but you just open the cogwheel here, scroll down quickly to the 
MIDI setup. Make sure you're in channels 10 for the drums. Uh, we'll turn all these, uh, anything that's on here, turn it off except for the polychord voice in bit. You could use the clock too, but I'm not going to because I don't, I don't need to use any of the internal patterns or anything. I'm just going to send MIDI here, so let me load a kick, a kick quickly. Alright, sounds good to me. Back to our uh, polychord, and I'm just gonna send send the just the drums. And as we can hear, the drums are coming through. And there's the bass from Beatmaker. Sounds good. All right. So now all we got left to set up is our cork synth, which is gonna control the ARP and uh, the two main. Uh, for the chords and uh, the strum area. So the synth one will be for our chords. Well, actually, I'll, I'll load a new project here quickly so so that you're, you're aware that I didn't do anything ahead of time or anything with this. So I'll just open a preset. Classic poly. I'm going to turn off the effect on it. Pop over to the synth, synth two, which is going to be our strum. Um, you're probably going to want something here that uh, that rings out. I'm going to try this whirly piano. That seems like it'll work pretty good. See, I'm just going to go ahead and turn the release up on it here. I can't turn it up too much, or it's going to really start to affect our polys when we start strumming anything. But that should work for now. That's a a little bit. Anyways, <clears throat> okay, so let me pop over to the mixer here and I'll just quickly show you how uh, Korg receives channels because they don't give us uh, too much options either. So uh, channel, the synth 1 will be on channel 1, s channel 2, channel 3, channel 4, 5, etc. So uh, it just goes up like that. So basically since we're not using the bass, we'll mute the bass track. Uh, three. It's still going to send here, but we won't hear it. And we'll mute the rest of these because we won't be using them. So we have the three. We have our, our chord synth. We have our strum synth. And we have our ARP. That'll all be sent from over here. So let's pop back to the to here for a second. And um, I'll select this ARP out. And as you, you can hear, it's actually a snare drum because this is one of the drums. So we'll just go into the drum the drum uh, section here quickly. Drum 2, so we'll bring down the dialog, load number 2, same exact thing you'd get from, uh, from the normal synth. So just load a factory sound. We'll scroll down and find ourselves a synth sound here. Uh, this octo. Oct. Saw should be fine. That sounds good. Let's pop back over here. And uh, means our ARP should be ready to send. Right on, it works. Okay, let me pop back to the, the Korg here. And I'm going to mess with the mixer just a tiny, tiny bit. Um, this should be fine where it is. I'm going to turn that whirly piano up a little bit. We'll actually crank it all the way to the top. And I'll try that out. So we'll turn on our strum here. And we'll turn on our chords. See, as I said, uh, you get a little bit of clipping here with this. But, uh, but uh, that's pretty much uh, 
uh, good to go now. So we can load up uh, all these now. They should all work. Although, yeah, we might get a little bit clipping here. Let's try this out. <laughs> Alright, so you see, uh, it works really well. We can take a different pattern here, load up a, a different one. Let's try a 60s rock. <laughs> That bass is kind of low. We can actually move it up with the octave here. All right. So I'll stop this as I, I think I've explained pretty well how uh, everything works here. You just have to make sure that most of your outputs and throughs uh, are turned off so this uh, this doesn't uh, you don't end up uh, crashing uh, everything by uh, sending MIDI uh, on some infinite loop. So um, as long as you follow basically what I did you should be alright. I uh, hope this helps some people and uh, yeah. Um, pick up polychord if you don't have it and uh, try this out uh, works with a lot of different uh, synth apps and uh, it's a really nice interface uh, I'll try to get in more into actually playing it and everything next time rather than just a, a test of uh, how to set up the MIDI but I thought it was uh, really intriguing how many different apps you could open with these So, or sorry how many different apps you could control with the polychord so, yeah. All right, thanks, everyone. Uh, see you later.